It's day one. The fun just begun. Mike Tyson threatens Jake Paul after his latest training footage. In a stunning announcement that has rocked the sports world, internet sensation Jake Paul, who's also pretty hated NGL, and one of the most loved and respected boxing legends, Mike Tyson, have agreed to square off in a highly anticipated exhibition boxing match. The clash between the 26-year-old YouTube star and the 57-year-old former heavyweight champion is being billed as a once-in-a-lifetime dream matchup by organizers, and fans just don't agree with the hype that's being created about this match. This mind-boggling event set to take place at the iconic AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, has sent shockwaves through the boxing community, with fans and pundits fiercely debating the merits and potential implications of such an unprecedented spectacle. They believe that the prospect of a nearly 60-year-old boxing legend fighting a disrespectful YouTube sensation is disrespectful and distasteful, to say the least. As anticipation builds towards the blockbuster showdown, let's delve into the backstory, the reactions, and the high-stakes drama surrounding this colossal collision between an internet celebrity and one of the most iconic and feared fighters in history. The news of Tyson vs. Paul first surfaced through leaked training footage of Jake Paul that caught the attention of the baddest man on the planet himself. In a surprising revelation, Tyson revealed that he had actually gained respect for the YouTuber-turned-boxer after sitting down with him. The only white boy I know that gained a lot of respect when we sat down. He's doing his job. He's putting on his shine. This is an act. He's trolling people. His job is to piss people off. While Tyson referred to Paul and other influencer boxers as not real fighters, he described them as exciting fighters implying an appreciation for their entertainment value and ability to captivate audiences. On the other hand, British heavyweight Derek Chisora raised eyebrows when he suggested that the bout would involve the use of 18-ounce gloves and headguards, essentially labeling it as a glorified sparring session. I know for a fact they are using 18-ounce gloves and headguards. If I'm not mistaken, I think so. So we're watching a sparring match. It's a joke. You think I'm paying to watch that? Despite the skepticism from some corners, Jake Paul defended his decision to take on the iconic Tyson, posing a rhetorical question to his critics. You're mad at me for fighting Mike Tyson? Imagine this. Jake, we got the biggest deal ever. You versus Mike Tyson live on Netflix. You're going to entertain millions of people and make an unbelievable amount of money. What do you think? Exactly. That's what I thought. While The Clash has drawn mixed reactions, both Tyson and Paul have expressed their excitement and confidence in the lead-up to the bout. Tyson, who'll recently celebrate his 58th birthday, has shared glimpses of his intense training sessions, showcasing his remarkable physical condition and reigniting the buzz surrounding his long-awaited return to the ring. I'm very much looking forward to the bout. On the other hand, Jake Paul acknowledged Tyson's status as the greatest heavyweight of all time and the most vicious KO artist ever, but remained unfazed, emphasizing his own advantages. He's the greatest heavyweight of all time, the most vicious KO artist ever, but I'm younger, I'm faster, and I'm going to be working my ass off to get stronger. Paul even shared a video from Tyson's coach, allegedly expressing doubts about the fight to which Paul responded defiantly, Yes, yes, I do. Heavyweight. The announcement of Tyson vs. Paul has polarized opinions within the boxing community, with some viewing it as a mere spectacle and others embracing the entertainment value it brings. Among the vocal critics is KSI, a fellow YouTube star and boxer, who expressed his disdain for the matchup, labeling it as sad and a lose-lose situation for Jake Paul. Honestly, I just think it's sad. I don't know why Jake took it. It's a lose-lose, literally. He knocks out Mike and he's beaten what? An old age person. Mike Tyson is 57 years old. Yes, in his prime, this would have been crazy, but now it's just sad. KSI further elaborated on the potential implications of the fight, 
stating that if Jake Paul were to knock out Tyson, he would be known as the guy who knocked out an old Mike Tyson, while a loss would be equally damaging to his legacy. He's going to have so many people watching, millions and millions. Everyone is going to know him as the guy who knocked out an old Mike Tyson. But imagine if he gets knocked out by Mike Tyson. If he gets hit by one solid punch from your prune juice, it's Mike Tyson. Anything can happen. Jake could literally walk out without an ear like Evander Holyfield. However, Jake's brother, Logan Paul, offered a different perspective, hinting at the substantial financial incentive that made the fight an obvious choice for his sibling. The funny thing is, Evander Holyfield followed me. I said, no, not enough ears. The clash between Jake Paul and KSI extends beyond just the ring, as the two influencers have taken contrasting paths within the world of boxing. While Paul has been actively pursuing recognition and legitimacy within conventional boxing circles, KSI has fully embraced the influencer boxing sphere, going as far as establishing his own Misfits boxing promotion. This divergence in approaches has fueled a feud of epic proportions between the two, with each striving to leave their mark on the sport in their own unique ways. As the fight date approaches, Mike Tyson has been ramping up his training, sharing footage that has both thrilled and concerned fans and experts alike. In one recently unearthed video, the 57-year-old former champion can be seen unleashing powerful punches with sustained rhythm, displaying his seasoned expertise from his 58 professional fights. Tyson's impressive physical condition at his age has been nothing short of remarkable. However, the prospect of Tyson stepping into the ring against an opponent 30 years his junior has raised concerns among experts, including his former promoter, Frank Warren. First of all, I like Jake Paul. I like him a lot. He's a great promoter, and he's done well for a guy that's come from his background. But a 58-year-old man? Do me a favor. Warren acknowledged the surprising developments in the current era and the substantial earnings generated by such events, but maintained his personal disinterest in the fight. If it's properly medically supervised, and they've got some decent officials in there, and at times they can be protected from themselves, then who am I to criticize it? But for me, it's not something I have any interest in whatsoever. While concerns linger, former UFC star Nate Diaz weighed in on the potential outcome of the bout, confidently predicting a victory for the legendary Tyson. Mike Tyson, all day. Meanwhile, Jake Paul's manager, Nakisa Badarian, has ambitious plans for the event, describing it as a once-in-a-lifetime dream matchup and expressing hopes that it will become the most watched boxing event in modern history. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson is a once-in-a-lifetime dream matchup, and we hope it will be the most watched boxing event in modern boxing history. Bidarian also highlighted the partnership with Netflix as a unique opportunity to broadcast the fight globally on an unprecedented scale, emphasizing their commitment to delivering a significant clash between two of the biggest names in sports. Partnering with Netflix presents an unparalleled opportunity to bring Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson to the world on an unprecedented scale, and we look forward to delivering this incredible clash of two of sport's biggest names. As the days tick down towards the highly anticipated showdown at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, the contrasting paths of Mike Tyson and Jake Paul will collide in what promises to be one of the most intriguing and debated events in recent boxing history. With Tyson's legacy and Paul's quest for legitimacy on the line, the eyes of the sports world will be fixated on this extraordinary spectacle, eager to witness the outcome of this colossal clash between an internet sensation and a boxing icon. Regardless of the result, one thing is certain. This dream matchup has already cemented its place in the annals of boxing history, igniting passionate debates and captivating audiences like few events before it. That's it from our side. Make sure to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon for more exciting updates. See ya.